right, I hope you enjoyed that introduction because Nvidia absolutely blew off the top with earnings. And this actually set us up for extremely solid day trading today because I saw this as an opportunity to short the market because as you can see from the pre-market update, anytime you get a brand new all-time high open gap, there is a very good chance with 100% certainty that that gap will fill at some point. And you can see from my update here, I said that I will warn you now, the bears have been squeezed. There are smart bulls ready to lock profits and smart bears ready to take a bite out of the price action. If smart bulls are locking profits and smart bears are beginning to short the market that is two times the selling pressure which will put a lot of downward pressure on the market for this reason i give a good chance we see a decent pullback over the coming days and weeks prepare now so with that warning that was telling us to lock our profits and even short the market to make money while the market is going lower and that is the benefit of being a trader because we don't care if the market is going up or down we simply want to be on the right side of the move and make profit and then you can see at 941 i said the spy gap is filled the qqq gap is still open can still go lower today to fill the gap and once all of that selling pressure took over the market just continued to sell off for the rest of the day these are the intraday updates and the technical analysis that you're getting in the discord server so if you want to come crush the market with us you can join the stocks channel discord server by clicking on the link below this video also if you are in the discord server and you are crushing this market please feel free to let everybody know in the comment section below because after a day like today and even a week like this week that we're currently having there is nothing wrong with celebrating our wins and preparing to go into the weekend with all of these profits all right, so the analysis is going to be very quick because not much has changed. We're getting the pullback that I was expecting towards this gap fill at 523. And I do think that is going to be a buying opportunity before we climb even higher going into June. So do not be afraid to buy the dip within this bull trend while we're above this rising 20 daily moving average and this gap fill of support zone right around 523. That means there is going to be a buying opportunity coming up very soon, as soon as tomorrow. And if you miss this opportunity and we continue higher towards the 540s, you are going to have a lot of FOMO so make sure you have a plan and you're preparing for what you're going to do during this pullback and this dip opportunity right now 523 I think is a great risk level and you can move like water so while we're above it I think you should be bullish buying into that zone as we approach it and then if we break below it you need to manage your risk because below 523 there still is a possibility we get a deeper pullback and that deeper pullback would take us closer to about 512 but I don't think we're going to 512 just yet I think we're going to bounce off of this zone right around 523 and then continue climbing higher towards 534. If that doesn't happen, you'll know it from the price action and we'll see it breaking down below that support zone. On the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs, we were down 0.44% today. And just like I told you on SPY, we gapped up to a new all time high. So we had this gap to fill. And once that selling pressure starts to take over, it's very hard to slow it down, but you could see the bulls did close above 453. So there is no reason to be risk off. But if we do break down below 453, I still think there is going to be a buying opportunity down here at 446. And then if we bounce off 446 like I'm thinking we will then we'll start climbing higher yet again back into the 460s for another brand new all-time high in June so I do think these are buy the dip opportunities as we pull back so be prepared to buy the dip from these critical support zones at 453 and 446 and then just get risk off if we break down below 446 on the Dow Jones, we were down 1.5% today. The Dow Jones did close down below that gap at 396. And below 396, we were looking for 391. And that is exactly where we closed today. And this is the risk level for the Dow Jones bulls because at 391, there is a very good chance we're getting a higher low bounce towards 402. If we break down below 391, then we're going to be looking for 383. So you have a very clear trade plan here above or below 391. Above 391, we're looking for 402, and below 391, we'll be looking for about 383. On the Russell 2000 IWM ETF, we were down 1.64% today, and last night I told you we were looking a lot more risk off below 207 as we were approaching the support trend line right around 206. And you could see that was the correct call because we had a lot of risk off sentiment and price action and we're now sitting down here right around 203. Now 203 is a risk level, so if you're bullish in the small caps, you could buy from 203. But as you can see below 203, I am looking for a gap fill at 200. So only stay bullish while we're above 203. Otherwise, we're looking for 200. On the RK ETF, we were down 3.07% today. And we did get that lower high rejection because we could not hold above 45. And below 45, it's very likely that we're coming back down towards 42. Do not get bullish now unless we can get back above 45 or this resistance right around 45.7. 
On the VIX, we were up 3.9% today, and the VIX is spiking a little bit, but we're still at historically very low VIX values, which is more indicative of a bull trend. So as long as the VIX can stay down here below 13 and 15, we're more than likely just getting a pullback within a bull trend. On Bitcoin, we're currently trading at 67,000, and we did not hold that support at 68,000, but the next critical support is down here at 65,000, and we still do have the bull trend. So I do think this is a buy the dip opportunity with the risk level being at 65,000. And if we break down below 65,000, simply get risk off. But I do believe you could be buying the dip here on Bitcoin for the price target at 75,000. On NVIDIA stock, we were up 9.32% today and NVIDIA knocked earnings out of the park. And this is a market leader name. So now that it's at all time highs and hitting my price target between 994 and 1032, it is very likely that it's just going to consolidate and build out some type of very large bull flag of consolidation before it goes any higher. So do keep this in mind. If you are trading Nvidia, we are likely going to develop a range over the coming days and weeks. And that range is likely going to be a lot of sideways around these price targets. So while we're in this current range, we're looking for resistance right around 1032 and 1056. And I do think there's a good chance we sort of just ping pong around within this range and consolidate and go absolutely nowhere through the summer. So just keep this in mind. If you are trading Nvidia, it is likely going to go a lot of sideways. On Tesla stock, we were down 3.54% today and we did break down below that risk level that I gave you at 178, which means you now need to manage risk at 173 and then below that 167. And if we can't hold above 173 and 167, we're risk off because we're likely in a downtrend that is going down towards 147. This will look like a double top rejection if we cannot hold above 167, so make sure you're managing your risk accordingly. If we hold above support and we bounce and we break the high at 185, then I think we're well on our way towards 207. On Apple stock, we were down 2.11% today and we could not hold above that support at 190, which meant we were coming down towards 186 and that's exactly what we're doing. And I still think from here, we are going to find support and still hit my price target at 195. So I'm not bearish. I think these are buy the dip opportunities as long as we can hold above this support between 185 and 186. So jumping back over to the S&P 500, I think the bulls are getting another buy the dip opportunity as we get a lot of profit taking today. There is going to be a pullback into a buy zone within a bull trend and that is where you wanna get those low risk long entries. And as I suggested this morning, we locked a lot of our long profits and started to short the market. But now that is changing, now that we're getting the pullback, we're now going to be looking to add those long positions back and continue to ride this bull trend higher. So if you want to come be part of the team that is absolutely crushing this market and just continues to win day after day, come check out my Stock Channel Discord server where you get access to all of my intraday updates, technical analysis, and my trade ideas. You can find out how to join my Discord server by clicking on the link in the description of this video. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.